Hello dear friends, welcome back. <clears throat> In the previous lecture we recorded about the blood supply of the retina, right? So we have talked about the branches of the central retinal artery and we have talked about the branches of the short posterior short ciliary arteries, right? And we know that the retina receives its blood supply from two different uh, regions from the inner side and from the outer side. From the inner side, it receives its nourishment from the central retinal artery, which I have talked in the previous lecture. And from the outer side, it receives blood and, and uh, minerals and other substances, nutrition. From the outer side, from the chorio capillaries made by these short posterior ciliary arteries. And I hope you have watched that lecture and you remember all those things. Now, let's move further forward and uh, discuss about the anti sorry the long posterior ciliary artery and the anterior ciliary arteries look carefully now from the ophthalmic artery right from the ophthalmic artery there is another branch which bifurcates which separates right and this artery also enters the sclera and uh, your eye and pierces the sclera enters your eye and it enters the choroidal lamina the choroidal layer and then it moves anteriorly towards the ciliary body so that and it is a bit longer than this short ciliary artery that's why we say that this is long posterior why posterior because it enters from posterior side that's why we say posterior ciliary artery look carefully this is long posterior ciliary artery and the long posterior ciliary artery enters the eye and into the choroidal layer and it goes towards the ciliary body right it reaches here and same is the case from above and all the sides my dear friends you just please remember this from all the sides if we draw this eye right from the interior aspects so that will be shown like this this is your eyeball right and uh, there is your optic disc right and you know that there is your central retinal artery superior branch inferior branch and then other branches that we have discussed and from two sides of this optic disc two long ciliary arteries will enter right long ciliary arteries are only two the long ciliary arteries when they enter they will pierce the sclera and will enter inside the eye in the choroidal layer and they will move around Right? They will move all around the uh, yeah, choroidal layer and they will come anteriorly towards your ciliary body and all the sides, friend. Please remember this and all the sides. And here they will make a ring which we have discussed in the previous lecture, the major arterial ring. Right? And here they will give certain small branches to the uh, to the ciliary processes which are called the vascular stroma right and supply blood to the and, and to the ciliary processes and the epithelium of the ciliary process which will make the aqueous humor right then what happens look carefully then from here a branch separates and enters into the iris right enters your iris and there they make minor arterial ring and the, uh, I will show that diagram uh, th that representation from anterior sides so you will see them uh, like this look carefully here is your oh I'm sorry here is your uh, cornea right then outside the cornea inner to co cornea you have uh, you know that there is your iris yeah we know this is your iris right and then what happens there is your superior to iris there is your ciliary body so let me make the ciliary body also with this blue color my dear friends you just consider this is our ciliary body right and you know that from all the sides right from all the sides the branches of the uh, yeah posterior long ciliary artery comes right and they will make here 
and the ciliary body they will make a circle here and this is called the major arterial ring or major arterial circle and from this circle then the branches will move into your ciliary into your iris so uh, let me clear this and I will show only here your pupil so this is your pupil right and then from this major arterial ring the branches will enter your iris like this right and they will supply blood to the iris and to the cells and everything which are present in iris and they will make here a ring and this ring is called the minor arterial ring right so here is your major arterial ring in the ciliary body at the base of ciliary body uh, and then there is your minor arterial ring there so this major arterial ring will be like this all around and this minor arterial ring will also be like this right friends this is your major arterial ring i hope you now understand uh, what i am uh, telling you right so the long posterior ciliary artery this one long posterior ciliary artery will supply blood to what it will supply blood it will give branches to in the choroid right it will give branches uh, to the ciliary body and the ciliary muscles which are present here you know there are ciliary muscles and then it will make uh, a, a major arterial ring then they will enter uh, the branches of it will enter into the iris and then they will make the minor arterial ring here i would love to mention another thing that uh, friends you know that uh, here are the recti muscles right here are your recti muscles and you know well that from the ophthalmic artery right the muscular branches enter here right from op your ophthalmic artery the muscular branches come here and from these muscular branches a branch of artery separate and enter your ciliary body so this is called your anterior ciliary artery which I have written here anterior ciliary artery right friends and also at this point so anterior ciliary artery so from as you know that there are four recti muscles right for example this is your eye and here is your nose right this is your nose so here is a muscle which is called lateral rectus here is medial rectus, here is inferior rectus and here is superior rectus muscles. And now look carefully. Then there is the entrance of your two, yeah, two arteries which we said that long posterior ciliary arteries. And then these long posterior ciliary arteries go of branches, right? And what happens, all these branches will make the major arterial ring, right? Now look carefully. From the, uh, from the recti muscles, the anterior ciliary arteries will come, look carefully, from here two branches will come and from this point two branches and from here it will also give, inferior rectus will also give, but only the lateral rectus, lateral rectus artery, uh, 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 rectal artery will only give one branch like this right so they will unite together and then what happens from this the uh, iridal arteries all of these are the iridal arteries and then they will make your minor ring so this representation is also shown there right friends so what did we learn we said that the certain arteries are responsible to supply blood to your eyeball and these are the central retinal artery, the short posterior ciliary artery, long posterior ciliary artery, anterior ciliary artery and uh, these arteries uh, uh, are all the branches of your ophthalmic artery and ophthalmic artery is the branch of internal carotid artery. Right friends? So this completes the blood supply, I mean the oxygenated blood supply of your eyeball the inner structures right as you know the, the the lens is avascular the cornea is avascular right and then there are also some of some important uh, episcleral arteries are also present there so we don't uh, uh, forget them so the episcleral arteries are also present there right like this 
Okay friends, so I hope you understand the blood supply of the eyeball. Now in the next lecture we will discuss about the venous drainage of the eyeball. So be with us.